Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back to share with you some perfume mail that I just received. So um, this, these are things that came to my P.O. box and um, yeah, I'm so excited to share them with you because everything in this bunch of things is amazing. Everything. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to start with the first um, like full bottle that came. This came from somebody who she said that she just didn't like this fragrance or it didn't work for her. It's a clone from a clone house that I've never heard of called Cantrend. Um, I have never heard of this house before. But I will tell you, after smelling this and seeing this, I am very, very intrigued. I'm going to immediately go on to this website because this, I think, is the best clone of this fragrance I've ever smelled. So this is a clone of Baccarat Rouge 540 x -Straight, and which I actually prefer to the original Baccarat Rouge 540. I prefer the x -Straight version. It's a little bit sweeter and a little bit softer for me. Um, but anyway, she said it didn't work for her and she just wanted to send it to me. And I am, oh my gosh, number one, I'm so grateful for it because I just love getting stuff that I, uh, things that are new to me that I've never heard of. I love, um, yeah, just like exploring and getting new things in front of my eyes and under my nose. But anyways, this, you guys, it opens up kind of like a book and this is the fragrance inside. So, so the inside, it says, I know you're special. You are different from others in the world. Therefore, I put my heart in to create this perfume bottle with a unique design that's just only for you. Hopefully, hope you will be satisfied with it. This, okay, it's, it comes in like a satin lined box and this bottle, like I've never seen a clone house have a nicer bottle. This bottle is beautiful. It's got this kind of mother of pearl around the neck and this really beautiful wood lid and it's got the name engraved on the top. But I just thought this was so pretty. The Mother of Pearl is a really beautiful touch. I love the plain label. I think the label is really gorgeous as well. Um, it's just a really pretty bottle. It's called, this one is, this is a 100 ml bottle. This is an X-ray and it's called Roulette. I'm so, so excited to get on and look at this website, seriously. Um, this is hands down the best clone I've ever smelled of this fragrance. Like ever. It's got, I'm not even going to spray it because like she, she wrote a little note with it and said it is an absolute beast, like it will last for days on her. And I can absolutely see that. Um, I sprayed it. I gave it one spray in my kitchen and it made the whole front of my house smell like this for about 30 minutes. Um, so I'm quite sure this is an absolute beast. Yeah, this is beautiful. It smells exactly, and I mean like spot on identical to Baccarat Rouge 540 x -Straight. It's I think it's the best clone I've ever smelled of it. For sure, it's beautiful. It's, the lid is so, like everything about it is just really nice. The lid is very smooth. Um, it just feels like a really nice quality bottle. Yeah, I'm just really, I'm just very impressed. So yeah, super excited to check more out from this house. Again, that is called Cantrend um, Roulette and I will definitely have it linked in the description box below. And then next I got a package from a, a subscriber, a lovely subscriber. She sent over some decants of some things. So we did kind of a decant swap and she asked me to send some empty atomizers because she wanted to send some, like some other fragrances that she had. And oh my gosh, you guys, these, every single one of these are amazing. But first she sent some little Mad Hippie um, skincare samples. So this is the Hydrating Facial 
SPF with carrot seed, avocado, and raspberry seed oils. I'm super excited to try that. Very, very excited to try this one. And then she also sent this. This is a cleansing oil, which I'm very excited. I love cleansing oils. They're like some of my favorite things. So I'm very excited to try that cleansing oil. Um, so yeah, she sent those little samples. And then she sent a full bottle. I've been seeing everybody finding these at their Marshalls and TJ Maxx, and I have not been to Marshalls or TJ Maxx anytime, or like at all. And I keep wanting to go just for these fragrances. These are Urban Outfitters fragrances, and this is the scent called Chai Eclair. And oh my gosh, this is everything that I love in a fragrance. It's sweet and warm. Oh gosh, I think I smell some coconut in there. Yeah, I'm quite sure those, there's coconut in there. Either that or it's such a sweet, rich vanilla that it smells like coconut, but I'm quite sure it's coconut. But it's just, it's warm and sweet and ugh, yummy, coconutty, vanilla. It's so good. I don't get chai at all from it. Like I'm not getting any spiciness, but I'm definitely getting a really yummy, buttery, sweet, coconut. Oh my gosh, I love it so, so much. So thank you for sending this. I am so happy <laughs> to have this in my collection. This is a beautiful fragrance and it is right up my alley. And then she also sent this one. This is a Nest Pen Spray. This is Sunkissed Hibiscus. This one is 8 mil. So that's strange because the one that I just ordered, the Golden Nectar, yeah, the Golden Nectar I think is 6 mil. I'm gonna check. Yes. Okay, so this is crazy. And even the bottle, I don't know if, no. Even the bottle is thicker and bigger. I don't know if I'll be able to show it on camera, but like you can see on the golden nectar how much more glass is showing at the bottom because it's thicker. It's thicker, bigger glass. It's like they made the packaging bigger to make you th feel like you're getting more. This is a six mil, this is an eight mil. Same exact roller ball, but you can see this one's even bigger. It's crazy. Yeah, it's noticeably bigger, but with much, well, not much less, but two mil less liquid, which is crazy. But anyways, um, Sunkissed Hibiscus is, this I think is a blood orange fragrance. Oh, it's really, really nice though. Um, yeah, it's very nice. I really, really enjoy this. So I'm excited to have this one. Um, it's beautiful. So yeah, I'm very excited about that. So anyways, that is Sunkissed Hibiscus. It's, it's like a, it's like a warm citrusy floral. It's really, really pretty. They all kind of have that nest DNA. Um, you know, it's not, it's not completely unlike golden nectar. It is because it doesn't smell like golden nectar, but it's got that, there's something about nest fragrances that just, they have this really beautiful, warm floral base. Okay. And then on to the decants that she sent. I am so excited to try these, you guys. So this first one is called Ajmal Regina. This is one that I had never heard of. Um, there are so many Ajmal fragrances out there, and I don't know, but I feel like, but I feel like they're not super easy to find. Um, fragrance Net doesn't have that many. Fragrance X, I don't know, I haven't checked in a while, but I don't remember them having that many. Um, oh my gosh, this is another one that it's just like right up my alley. It's sweet. This one does have some spices in it. This is like sweet and warm and spiced. It's kind of got like an ambery base. In fact, that's probably how I would without having set my eyes on the notes of any of these. <laughs> so I can't I'm not totally sure what is exactly in these, just going by my nose. 
I would definitely classify this as like a sweet amber fragrance. It's so, so nice. It's cozy and sweet. It's got a little bit of a, it's got a brightness in the top though that you can definitely smell. Like some bright citruses in the top, but they're warm. They're like warm. Every It's a very warm fragrance. It's really, really beautiful. I'm super, super excited to give this one a really good wear test. Um, yeah. So anyways, that is Ashmal Regina. I'm very excited to be able to test some more Ashmal fragrances too. Or another Ashmal fragrance, I should say. Okay, next we've got this one here. This is from a house called Kate's Magic, or a website, I would say, called Kate's Magic. Um, and this is called Sphinx Moth Oil. And this is one, oh gosh. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my skin so I can smell this. Oh my gosh, this is another one that is so beautiful. This is really warm. This is warm and spicy. This is gonna sound weird, but this reminds me of, um, it's been years ago, probably five years ago or so, but I had this Arnica oil from Weleda and I loved it because it was very, very warming. It was an oil that I was using that winter and it was incredibly warming. There was something about it, I, I couldn't have even cared less about the fragrance. It did have a little bit of a fragrance to it, but it was more that it actually like warmed on your skin. And this somehow reminds me of that. This smells like warm cinnamon, or warm, almost like that warm arnica. It's beautiful. It's a slight, it's like slightly medicinal, but in a warm way. It's not like a, I don't know, it's not medicinal medicinal, if that makes any sense. It's like a warm medicinal, but I swear it's like, gosh, it really reminds me of the Arnica, and I don't know if it is Arnica or, but it's got the warmth of like cinnamon, very, very warm. If you smell cinnamon, like straight cinnamon oil before, or clove, or like a mixture of cinnamon and clove, or any of those like germ-fighting essential oils. It's got that kind of a warmth to it. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, so yeah, really gorgeous. I'm very excited to give this one a really good test. Okay, and then next we have, um, this is a Guerlain fragrance. This is one of the, um, it's from the Arts and Materials line. This is Neroli Outre, Outre Noir. And, oh my gosh, I actually had a small sample of this at some point some years back. And oh my gosh, is it gorgeous. I'm so happy to have another little sample of it that I can go through um, because I enjoyed it so, so much when I had that little sample some years ago. It's such a beautiful fragrance. It's like a... I don't know, this one is hard to explain because you get that kind of green bitterness from the Neroli, but it's warmed and softened by a sweetness. And I remember thinking that, like, I remember thinking this was the best Neroli fragrance that I've ever smelled in my life, and I still feel like that. I still feel like this is my, that this is the best Neroli fragrance that I've ever smelled because it's got a warmth and a sweetness to it. Those are my favorite kinds of fragrances, warm and sweet. So anyways, that is Guerlain Neroli Outre Noir. It is beautiful. And then last but not least, she sent a Latafa fragrance, which again, I was just saying how much I wanted to get my nose on more Latafa. And this is called, oh, I'm gonna butcher this, Latafa Azdof Andalib. Um, oh my gosh, and again, this is sweet. This, this was the one that like, I feel like every single one of these is full bottle worthy for sure, just from first sniff, because they're my kinds of fragrances. This one though, I was like, holy crap. I, Latafa fragrances do really, really good on my skin, so I almost already know that this is gonna be just fine on my skin. Oh my goodness, but this was one that I was immediately like, I am gonna have to find a full bottle of this. This is sweet. 
and kind of fruity, but not overly fruity. Like it's fruity in the way that it's probably got one fruit in it that gives it its sweetness. I almost get like an almondy, like a very light almond or heliotrope, like a very light powderiness. So it's kind of sweet, a little bit powdery. It's yummy smelling. Yeah, I swear I smell almond. I might be losing my mind, but to me, I smell some kind of like an almond or heliotrope. It's beautiful. It's actually quite unique. Yeah, I'm gonna get on Triple Traders immediately to see if they have this one. And if not, I'm gonna track it down somewhere because it's so freaking good. Oh my gosh, I love it. I would be spraying this on me right now, but I have, I'm testing another fragrance today that I'm gonna do a whole review on and I don't wanna like, as soon as I get done filming that though, it's on, this is going all over. Oh my gosh, but it's so good, I love it. It's like a slightly fruity, slightly powdery, like I feel like it's some kind of fruit and heliotrope. Oh, it is so good. So anyways, that one is called Latafa Azdaf and Alib. I will definitely have that in the description box for you. So anyways guys, those are all the most recent things that came to my P.O. box. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.